What's up guys, Ryan B here with this week's Creature Feature. And uh, we're here with Ghost, but we're not gonna be talking about Ghost. We're actually gonna be talking about one of his babies. Check it out. This is a baby Cayman Brack Iguana. Ghost is the dad. That's right, he's not in He Did It. There's the female down there. That's Sway. She's actually one of our best breeders here. Even though she's got a little bit of an issue with her spine, as you can probably see, she is a consistent, good breeder. Puts out some killer babies. Now these Cayman Brack Iguanas, these guys are true Cayman Brack. As you guys remember from some of our other videos that we've talked about, there are two localities. You get the lesser Cayman Island Cayman Bracks and then the true Cayman Brack Cayman Islands. What distinguishes them from the uh, lesser Cayman Islands is that these guys actually get a little bit bigger and during season, he's starting to darken up because it's cooling down here. Um, but during season when it's nice and hot out, these guys get a bright white head. That's right, man. This is your buddy, Ghost. Babies, well-tempered. If you notice when they're younger, they've actually got these really cool like orange spots that kind of go down the back there. These guys are omnivores. Um, they're gonna feed on a lot of vegetation, some fruits, but also don't forget that they need protein, insect protein when they're younger. As they get older, they'll eat sw uh, smaller rodents and stuff on occasion as well. Um, but primarily, like most of the cyclora, they're gonna eat a lot of vegetation, a lot of fruits, even some seaweed and stuff like that if you guys um, have access to that kind of thing. But again, this week's teacher, feature creature, Cayman Brack Iguana only available during the end of the summer and early fall so you don't want to miss out or else you're going to be having to wait a whole nother year for these guys check them out all right now this is not another cayman brack this time we've got a grand cayman this is a lewis eye hybrid these are high percentage lewis eyes check out dad over here is papa smurf nice bright blue coloring even brighter during the summertime. There's mama sitting in the corner over there. And this is one of the babies. As you can see, the males are considerably bigger than the females. All right, these guys are starting to get that dingier, darker winter coat to them, if you will. And once summer hits again, they'll brighten up. This is one of the babies. If you look closely, I don't know how good the the camera showing up, but you could already start to see some of that blue pigmentation, almost like a bluish hue. It's a little bit lighter on the orange and yellows compared to those Cayman Bracks. And again, these are Lewis Eye hybrids, high, high percentage, gorgeous animals. Again, if you're looking for something rare, something that isn't as readily available as let's say some of your other cyclora, like your Cuban rocks or your rhinos, Grand Cayman Blues are definitely one of the ones to check out and definitely one that you want to pick up. Only a few available left for the season and uh, you might want to get yours before they're all gone again until next year. All right, now if you're looking for something super rare, this is probably the second time that I've ever seen these guys since working with Underground Reptiles. This is a Euromastix princeps, also known as a, a princely spiny tail um, lizard. These guys come from uh, parts of, of uh, East Africa, Somalia, um, though they look maybe a little bit duller as babies, you got to know that when these guys get full grown, 9 to 10 inches is about max. This animal is going to be a bright greenish yellow coloration and the back is lit up with like a red stripe and some red markings. You could probably already start to see some of that color coming through now. Their tails, the spines on them are a little bit longer than a lot of the other species of Euromastix. And these guys stay a little bit smaller than some of the more commonly known species like the, the Nigerian Euromastix and the Mollies and stuff like that. Strict herbivores, but again, if you're looking for like a once in a lifetime possible opportunity here to work with a really cool lizard, you definitely want to work with the Euromastix Princeps. These are captive bred babies that are now available only at Underground Reptiles.